The biggest show in the country starts now. An incredible intervention this morning from a retired priest who has contacted the Nolan Show to criticise the new appointment to the Diocese of Dromore. It is rare from anyone, uh, for anyone from the church to speak out. They're doing so this morning. And we'll get your reaction today to this incredible interview you're about to hear. Uh, 03030 80 55 55. On Twitter at Stephen Nolan and on Facebook at Real Stephen Nolan. Good morning. Following the resignation of Bishop McAreevy in the aftermath of the abuse scandal of a former principal of St Coleman's School, the Pope has appointed a new man to the job from outside the diocese, namely Dr Philip Boyce, formerly bishop in the Diocese of Rafo. Dr Boyce will be the man leading the Diocese of Dromore at a time when the PSNI have set up a dedicated team to investigate the circumstances of child abuse carried out by the late paedophile priest, Father Malachy Finnegan. An audit of his former diocese by the National Board for Safeguarding Children was extremely critical of some bishops, including Bishop Boyce at the time, in his handling of accusations of paedophilia in Raffo. At the time, Bishop Boyce admitted that, quote, very poor judgments and mistakes were made. He apologised for the terrible deeds that have been inflicted on so many by a small minority of priests. The Nolan Show has been speaking to Father Eamon Murray, a retired priest now living in the Diocese of Dromore. As I said a matter of moments ago, it is extremely rare for someone from within the church to be speaking out so critically and so publicly. We'll get your reaction to what you're about to hear today. 03030 80 55 55. This interview begins with me asking Father Eamon Murray why he contacted the Nolan Show. I'm disgusted at the appointment of uh, Bishop Boyes uh, as administrator to Dromore and I I live in Dromore and uh, I think it's a disgusting uh, uh, appointment and uh, allegations were made about Father Eugene Green and, and Bishop uh, Boyce's handling of that was 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 in a, in a BBC program questioned uh, this world program the shame of the Catholic Church and Bishop Boyce uh, was was questioned in that BBC program and he's now been appointed to to more and I think it's it's a it it it's a it, it's a I was I'm really really upset about the appointment of him to Dromore. What do you think this does for the reputation of the Diocese of Dromore? It does nothing for the reputation. I think it rubs salt on the wind. After a review undertaken by the National Board for Safeguarding Children in the Catholic Church, and the, the audit singled out Bishop Boyce over a serious case of abuse, in which, in which he tried to protect I the priest's think. family rather than have the cleric removed from the ministry. Exactly. And I'm so annoyed about this that he's been appointed to Dromor, where there has been a huge problem, as, as you know yourself. And I, and I think that's rubbing salt on the wind. What is the, the, the state of trust between church goers? on the ground and the Diocese of Dromore. Are relations bad at the moment? Is there trust in the community or not? There's no, there's not a lot of great trust. I went into a pub uh, at the weekend, Stephen, um, without my collar on and uh, and people were discussing it and, and it, it was so... It, it, it's, it's, it's just it, it's a it's 
a very sore subject at the moment. What were they saying? Well, they were saying that every priest is at us. That, um, and obviously that's not true. It's not true. And, of course, what, what made... It was just a very hurtful situation. And it was awful because they were talking about priests. Uh, and it was, a, it was just a pub over the border from Newry. And uh, they were talking about St. Coleman's because it was obviously a local situation. And horrible, horrible, horrible situation. And I'm coming out publicly and... I'll probably lose a lot of a lot of my uh, of, of my privileges. So, so there we are. So, you're telling me you think the church will punish people for speaking the truth? They'll punish me. If we come back to to Bishop Boyce being being appointed here, he did he did apologise um, at yeah, the time well, for all apologised, didn't he? This was uh, apologising about the uh, significant errors of judgment and the handling of clerical sex abuse allegations in the Diocese of Rafu. We all apologised. I don't think that man should be... I don't want that man in Dromore where I live. And I'm a priest. I don't want him in Dromore. In his defence, are, are you not being too harsh on him? His history says it all. The Vatican appoints him to Tremor. He's not even a bishop. He's retired. Dr Boyce said in 2011, quote, he was truly sorry for the terrible deeds that have been inflicted on so many by a small minority of priests. We offer, he says, our humble apologies once more and seek their forgiveness for the dreadful harm that has been done to them, their families uh, and friends. Is he not entitled to forgiveness? Uh, Stephen, all I'll say is words are cheap. I can't believe the Vatican has appointed that man to Dremore. He's not even a bishop. He's a former bishop. He's an ex-bishop. Do you think the public should welcome him to Dremore? No. Do you think they should... I don't, I don't want him in Dremore. I'm a priest. Well, it's too late now. Do you think the public should trust him? No. So what do you think given, the public... Given, given, his, given his history in Rafo, nobody should trust him. Father Eugene Green. What do you think the public should do? I think that this should be resisted. How do ordinary parishioners resist this appointment? They can't resist it because the Catholic Church is much bigger than everybody else. And I, I resent this appointment. And I will, I will be publicly uh, rebuked over it and internally rebuked. Why are you doing this? Because I, I'm a, I can't believe that this man has been appointed after his uh, tenure in Raffo. Do you know, Father Murray, if you have the support of any other priests? I have no support. And you, you've alluded to the fact that you will be punished because of speaking to me. Um, yes. What do you think will happen to you? I don't know, and I don't care, because I think this situation is so bad that they've, they've appointed an 80-year-old man to Dremore who's not even a bishop, he's retired. What could they do to you for speaking out this morning? They could cut off my money. And you're putting that at risk? Yes. You've clearly thought before speaking to me today. I have thought. and I, I, I'm, I'm just so incensed by it all. Are you frightened? Um, I'm a wee bit, yeah. Of what? Church.
I'm going to be punished. Frightened of your your own church? Yes. Because presumably your home is currently given to you by the Catholic Church. Exactly. And that could be removed. What will you do? Out on the street. Homeless. And you're risking all of this to talk to me this morning? Totally. Because of boys being appointed to Dromore. He's not even a bishop. He's retired as a bishop from Raffo in Donegal. And he's gone. He, they're transferring him to Dromore. I, it is so rare for a priest to speak out, Father Murray, that I am finding this interview incredible. It is rare. And I'm talking to you um, and I'm, 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 I'm being honest. Do you think any priest will rally round you now to protect you? Not at all. So what type of church are you in? It's a secretive thing. What do you say directly to Bishop Boyce? today? I don't want him in Dremore. Speak to him publicly, directly now. What do you say to I, him? I don't want you. Your record is there before us. Uh, Father Eugene Green, and you came out with platitudes and niceties, and it meant nothing. This world... BBC programme, This World... Father Green abused dozens of young people. Exactly. While being moved from parish to parish. He was jailed for 12 years in 2000 after yes. pleading guilty to 41 sample charges against 26 victims. It's the worst case of abuse in the whole north of Ireland. So I guess we come then full circle to the question... Why do you think your church has a, has appointed? But the Bishop thing Bruce? is, Stephen, uh, we've had a that Dremor St Coleman's issue with Finnegan has been so bad, and then they appointed someone like Boyce that you've that you've just talked about. Why do you think they? Diocese. Why do you think they appointed him? I don't know. I'm. That's why I'm so incensed. I'm speaking out. I think it's it, it's like putting an ashtray on a motorbike. Im Eamon Martin is the head of the Catholic Church for Ireland. W what do you say to him this morning? Well, he should show leadership. So, he should show leadership. And. Uh, and uh, Bishop Boyce was was the absolute wrong appointment for Dromore. So it's a hopeless situation. Does this make you question your faith? I question my faith every day, Stephen. <clears throat> I wonder what it's all about. What do you mean? I, each day I wake up, I always say to myself, what's it all about? You know? What do you say publicly this morning to everyone listening who, who, who visit the, the Diocese of Dromore, who attend church there? What do you say to the general public? I feel humiliated. I don't even go out on my collar anymore because people will immediately see you as a paedophile in my view, in my my mind. And it's a horrible time for priests. Horrible. Why have you come to me? Uh, because I, I've come to you before, Stephen. And uh, I've spoken out before. 
I was told not to speak to you again, and, and there we are. Yeah, there are quite a few powerful people in Northern Ireland don't want people to speak to me, but um, I think that... I know it, that. I think that in itself is a, is a message to society. Um, thank you for talking to us. There will be undoubtedly huge reaction um, to, to this programme and to you personally. Are you, are you ready for what comes? I don't know, Stephen, to be honest. Father Murray, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. Well, that's quite a... a well, you, you, you make your mind up what you make of that interview uh, rather than me putting thoughts in your head yourself. Our number today, 03030 80 55 55.